Hello there. Today I want to talk about photography uh, and in specific I want to talk about how we can um, look at photos and see why is that a good photo. In, in other words, what makes a good photo? It's important to realize that photography is of course for everyone um, and we all look at pictures, we're all interested in pictures, but um, sometimes we look at a photo and we're really intrigued by it, but it's not always clear what makes this photo good. So um, I will just show you my Instagram account. Now, this is not to say I'm the, a great photographer, but, and I know this, uh, this is not necessarily a shameless plug, but the point is just that uh, you can look at your own or people that on Instagram you like, and just to see what aspects are in a photograph that aren't immediately obvious. So let's look at this example here. Now, um, what I want to do is open this in a um, full page. And actually what I can do is, because I've tagged this, I can show you other pictures. Now, now the Clifton Suspension Bridge is one of the easiest um, landmarks to take a picture of because it's so iconic and so eye-catching. So you can see here's my image here. Now, sadly, I can't really zoom in more than that, um, but, well, maybe after the fact I can, but you can see the point here that, okay, well, what's going on here? So here I've decided to go for black and white. Okay, that's the first key thing. That's the most obvious thing. And in fact, um, I've, you know, I've even captioned it to note the fact that black and white, but a lot of uh, photographers use black and white. It's very common. It's a nice trick. Uh, so in this instance, uh, the picture looks fantastic in color. I, in fact, I took it in color originally, and, you know, that's what it looked good in. But actually, when I just switched the black and white toggle, and this was taken on an iPhone, by the way, edited on the iPhone. So I do use um, Lightroom quite a lot and a lot of professional photographers do but um, this just kind of goes to show that the camera is not uh, of such importance it's really about the eye of the photographer okay so the black and white now the black and white um, okay it gives it a different feel um, to me it makes this uh, well for me this feels very noir like because uh, obviously it's black and white but it's got its big open landscape, right? It kind of reminds me of those those kind of movies, uh, even though none of them I know were set in Bristol. Uh, what I, I, I would say also is that, okay, this is a black and white, but you, you, you can definitely see um, some color in the sky. Now this, you can see, so some people would say, well, okay, well, I don't get this picture. Half of it is just white, right? Uh, I mean, literally, you come up to here, and this is all white. Okay. That's actually why I think this picture works better in black and white. Um, if I can just open the Photos app, perhaps... Uh, oh, no. Uh, no. Hopefully it comes up. Um, yeah, it will load. Okay, here we go. That's the original image there, you can see. Okay, and so here, yes, you get this beautiful sunset, okay, and I, this, the, the sunset is beautiful here, but, um, you know, sunsets are done to death, and some, you can always, there's always something interesting in the sunset, but if everyone does the same thing, that's also part of the photographer's eye, okay. Also, notice, if you have the, this, the focus is immediately kind of drawn to the center line here. And in fact, it, what happens is you kind of actually lose focus of the bridge in a sense, right? Your eyes are drawn to the bridge, but this uh, orangey hue here is almost a distraction, even if it's, it's a nice picture. So let me just move that over there. You can come back to this example and you can see, well, well the focus is not entirely clear. But for me, I see this large white space here. And to me, it, it's something just appealing about it. Uh, what I would also add is that, okay, I've spoken about black and white for quite a long time. What you can also see in, in both images, this is a compositional technique. So actually, I'll just um, enlarge this here so we can see it more clearly. 
Uh, but you can see actually it is more clear in the black and white image um, just because it's the color is a bit distracting I find in this image so let me just move that back over there and here you can see the line so we've got this definite diagonal here right um, so here we've got this clear very clear line right and this is just the bridge right this is the road on the bridge right that line very distinct and it goes all the uh, it doesn't actually go to the end of the picture here I can do that to show but you can see it actually fades around this point here and then so here we've got some modeling of this line now this is a uh, also uh, you know some in some images you want the line to be clear throughout but here this works because uh, we want to show that this bridge you know it's easy to take a picture of this bridge as I've said right there's million and we can look at quite a few this one here I, I think that's really nice I think the colors are really cool but um, something about it just does I, for me it doesn't feel as moody as this one here like this one is great and I'm sure this would work great in a brochure or something but for me and I know I'm not exactly imp uh, impartial on this because this is my picture here but there's something just a lot more different to me about this one. There's a mood which I think is very important in in photography, right? Uh, you can also see an image like this one. Um, to be honest, I don't want to hate on the person that took this, but this is not a fantastic picture, right? There's there's a plethora of reasons. This here is not adding anything. Um, I, I don't believe it's straight. I don't I believe. I'm sorry for this person for peeking on them because a lot of Instagram is very casual. And, uh, so someone like me who actually is very diligent in the way they take pictures, it's a bit different. But I, this is just because you may look at this picture. Oh, it's rubbish. But it's well, and I'm, I'm not saying it's rubbish, but <laughs> it's. If we understand this vocabulary and and uh, and the meaning here, then we can see oh that's why it's not as uh, such a great picture, right? Rather than just saying oh it's rubbish, but um, I can't really pinpoint why. Here I I really like this one here, definitely a different aspect. In fact, this makes it, it looks almost like um, it's not in the UK. Something about these rocks here, very interesting. Uh, and of course you can see the line here, very clear. In fact. The line here slightly uh, curves here, you can see, just very slightly. That actually, uh, I don't know, for me, that kind of, I, it, it's nice to get straight, but, but I think that you can see, right, it's, you know, this, I'm not just making this up, there's a definite line through here. Okay, now here you say, well, there's a line here, but but the line is, is in no way obvious, right? It's it, the picture is not, it doesn't seem to be very purposeful, I think is the key. If we look at this example here, right, uh, this is a is a nice picture. Um, to be honest, for me, this these branches here aren't adding much. Uh, in fact, they are a distraction. But uh, I actually really like the inclusion of the river down here. Now, the river is just brown and murky, but I like that they've covered that there. And again, the line is very clear. Okay, in this case, you know, I do like this image. I, I'm not 100% a fan because this left edge here, which I'll talk about now. So, so in this image here, right, this seems quite an abrupt ending. Okay, and this is where cropping does come in. If we look here, you see, well, okay, well, you've kind of cut it off here, but you can see um, in this image here that these um, are, are, are pointing almost towards something, right? They're, they're saying, oh, well, look, this carries on like this. Okay, and actually, this picture here, we'll forget the, that, but you can see it's kind of the same way. Right? Obviously, the focus in this image is different, and the effect applied looks terrible, in my opinion. But <clears throat> you can see here that there's something to look for outside of the image. This is one key as well. It's not like, you know, an image has to encapsulate, almost the edges need to be blurry in a sense, not not uh, literally blurry, but they need to be, you need to be able to like, this needs to be like, it makes sense in a jug, jigsaw puzzle almost, right? And, and it, and it um, implies, that's what I'm looking, this implies 
So from here, I, it implies that these beams carry on, right? And and this isn't in some kind of structural or philosophical way. I'm just in terms of the photography, the, right? There needs to be something that says this makes sense here, right? And that's where uh, that comes from. And so we can look at a few different examples uh, of this. Uh, obviously, different people have different perspectives on the bridge. Uh, really, what I'm interested in is the you know, just the, the bridge as a whole. Uh, this example here, now, um, it's a nice idea, I just think there's just nothing interesting actually about this image. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry for, for the people that uh, I'm hating their images on, uh, they're not bad. Uh, I'm just saying that that's the difference between a very good, or I'm not saying my image is very good, I'm just saying the difference between um, an image where some thought was taken. And the thing is, anyone can do this. All you need to do is frame, and, and you will almost, there's some natural instincts in the human uh, body and brain to feel uh, what is right, what makes a good picture. Right? That's why we're able to sense a good picture, because we're also able to take a good picture. Okay, in this example here, um, let me just bring my one over here. So you can see, again, it's because this is a, actually. You, the re you're thinking, well, why are there so many from that bloody angle? It's ridiculous. Well, that's actually like a, uh, that's a, a vantage point, and it's a pretty good one for the bridge. So that's why that angle, you can see these, my image and this one are strikingly similar. Of course, the colors are very different here. Um, actually, I really like the coloring in this image. Uh, the problem I would say with this one is that, um, Well, you've got this whole part of in black here, which, uh, you know, it makes sense that, yes, we want the focus to be on the, uh, the bridge, but for me, this doesn't, it's like, what is this area? It's it's too dark for, for what, what I would like. Uh, and, and again, it leads to that idea of uh, what does it imply? And here, well, you can't gather really anything from that. Okay, if we go, and I will try and make a criticism of mine in a second, don't worry. But if we again look at mine, you can see this is dark, but you can actually make out. Now, I know it, that was a night picture, but the thing about uh, taking a picture of night, you have to be very cautious. It's not just about noise. You also have to be cautious of of, of the, the lighting of raw. And here, I think this really paints a very clear picture. Uh, and you know, also a key thing is that it's not about accuracy always, right? You look here, this image here, and you go back to this one here. You can see they, th this looks like an overcast day almost, right? Here, it's it's a bright, uh, you know, you you can tell more because this is actually what this is more to life. Whereas of course, no one sees in black and white to my knowledge. So this one. It is definitely uh, skewing with the reality, but I think that's part of what makes this image good. Now, uh, let, let's try and find some criticism. So here, for example, this this ball here I'm just looking at, I, it just doesn't seem to fit in, right? I think um, this is where, it, uh, that's just been overlooked on my part, this, this uh, re region here. But... Looking back to the, so the original image, right, you can see um, here, in fact, I've cropped this part out. Now, why have I done that? Now, well, because I think that this is a very nice clue. But here it's so obvious. It's like, well, you can actually see the beams continuing on. I think it's uh, uh, one thing you don't want in photography is uh, uh, unnecessary repetition. Repetition can be good to be very clear, but um, in this case, sorry, in this case, it's like, well, we kind of get the point, right? It's not actually adding anything new, and 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 you think you might be thinking, well, so what? But but I kind of see photography uh, or photograph as a zero sum game. Uh, any any advantage or any more uh, distinction given to this area of the photograph here takes away from the rest. That, and so that's why cropping is so powerful, not just for getting rid of, of parts of the photo that don't look so good, but actually emphasizing different parts of the photo.
I might do another video looking at a few different photographs. If you found it useful, your opinions are very much appreciated. I'm not a professional photographer, I'd like to make that clear. Um, but I like to take photography seriously. Uh, and I think... Um, I, I don't want to go on a rant here, but, you know, with the smartphone, it's a fantastic tool to take fantastic pictures. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of people take the, the, their picture, this uh, ability for granted because everyone has this ability. People seem to take it for granted that you can do this, you can take this photo, and they, they seem less precious. And, and, and that's why I think it's, it's really important to see well, what really makes this such a good photo, what makes this uh, okay photo but not great. The, these distinctions here that that seem arbitrary but just uh anyone can do this just look at a photo and see oh why well, you know you can really just see the lines the the parallel lines as well things like that they're really key uh pointers so thank you for uh watching and um, i hope to see you again very soon goodbye